Hello everyone. I hope you're all well out there. I'm Barbara Jones. I'm the Chief Curator at the Westmoreland and I've joined the Museum from Home team to bring you information about our special exhibitions and permanent collection. This exhibition brings together 13 works of art by nine artists. Three are on loan from the Art Bridges collection, two from the University Museum at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and nine from the Westmoreland's own permanent collection. Their work speaks to their own personal histories, their heritage, and art history through a range of media and approaches to subject. For this video, I'll talk briefly about each work in the exhibition. Tina Williams Brewer makes story quilts inspired by African and African American spirituality, history, and culture. She uses layered textiles, images, and embellishments to create her quilts that are rich with symbolism. Vanessa German adorns her power figures with items she is drawn to, sometimes subconsciously plucked from the sidewalk, other times scavenged from the wrong side of police crossing tape in her neighborhood of Homewood. Her assemblages speak to the African American experience, the hand-me-down sorrows of generations past, and the hopeful prayers for a thriving future. Charles Teeny Harris chronicled the African American community in Pittsburgh for over 40 years. As a photographer for the Pittsburgh Courier, one of the preeminent black news weeklies in America, Teeny traveled the alleys, workplaces, nightclubs, and ballparks of his native city and region with a speed graphic black and white camera in hand. He was nicknamed One Shot by Mayor David L. Lawrence because he would take only one photograph at any event, pop the used flash bulb into his pocket, and run off to his next assignment. Kerry James Marshall uses acrylic and collage to create his memorial to the deaths of black youths by gun violence. Joe Overstreet, on the other hand, takes abstract painting into the sculptural dimension. Micheline Thomas draws on art history and popular culture to create a contemporary vision of female sexuality, beauty, and power. Thomas constructs complex portraits, landscapes, and interiors in order to examine how identity, gender, and sense of self are informed by the ways in which women are represented in art and popular culture. Thad Mosley is a self-taught sculptor giving new life to at-hand materials such as stone from demolished buildings, scrapyard metal, and most often logs from the trees of western Pennsylvania. He draws with hammer and chisel, embarking on a journey of sculptural improvisation. Willie Cole uses everyday domestic objects, flat irons, shoes, plastic bottles, ironing boards, to name just a few, and transforms them for the viewer to reinterpret. David Clyde Driscoll uses oil and collage to allude to his own personal history, African and ancient art, and the natural landscape. While he references multiple styles in his work, his primary language is the flattened and overlapping planes of cubism and the painterly brushwork of abstract expressionism. I'm sad to report that David Clyde Driscoll passed away on April 1st from complications of the coronavirus. For my next videos, we'll take a closer look at three specific artists in the exhibition and their work. In the meantime, be well, stay safe. I know these are unprecedented times for us, but we will be together again. Bye for now.